People, as you talked before, mm -hmm. they're practicing dry January this yes. month and taking a break from drinking alcohol. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking to cut back or you're curious about zero proof spirits, our next guest is sharing some creative mocktails and alcohol-free drinks. That's right. Joining us live this morning is Sean Flynn, Senior Editorial Director for Food and Wine. We didn't scare oh, you welcome. off the last no, you time. Didn't. Happy New Year. Thanks for having me back. This is fantastic because we've come a long way, yes. I feel like. Yeah, this is right? high-end mocktails. Yes. Yes. Right. So last month we were talking about martinis. Now we're back for dry, right. dry January. Okay. We'll, we'll rest for a month, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> exactly. So let's start with a non-alcoholic spirit that you brought for us. I've seen this a lot of different places. Yes. It's wonderful. So this is Gia. This is made... Let's, let's dance. Let's we'll dance a little bit. So this is Gia. This is made with uh, Riesling grapes, yuzu juice, and lemon balm, in addition to other botanicals. Really, really delicious. Wow. Mm. And a beautiful bottle. It is. Yeah. And Fantastic. by the way, a lovely taste, of which I was... We sampled. We sampled. So, yes. Sean, what would we use Gia for? So I'm going to make you a Gia sour, and this is really delicious. So you add a little bit of ice. Mm -hmm. You know, when you talk botanicals, yeah. what are botanicals? I hear people say, well, it's a botanical. We're talking uh, about I'm basil, like, we're talking know, about what? thyme. Honestly, it's anything that, like any aromatic, so anything oh. that gives it flavor. So for this one, they use the yuzu juice, they use the lemon balm, um, just to give it some, some character. Okay. Right. So, so part the, the nose is also part of what you're tasting here. Oh, so look at this one. one, the winophile with the nose. No, well, already. I'm thinking, well, he said aromatics. All right, yes. all right, all right. You know, the aroma has to do with the nose, <laughs> Missy. Ooh, whatever you just Ooh, opened what is that? Was, was very pungent in the nicest way. So, See? what we have here, we have the Gia. We have simple syrup, just a little bit of sweetness. We've got blood orange juice and then lemon juice. Okay. Throw it all into a mixing glass with okay. ice. Fantastic. Shake it up. Shake it, shake it. You can tell he's the senior editorial director, <laughs> yes. master of the universe of food and wine. I also like making a lot of drinks. I like the, yeah, that too. I like the copper shaker. That's, that's yeah, that awesome. Pretty it's nice. It's really classy, classy. Yeah. And we were talking about kata kata oranges because you have these beautiful blood yes. oranges. Yes. And this is great for a garnish. You can cut it and put it on the side. You can just drop it right on top if you want to do that. You made our special. You for gave yours, us I did uh, a, lemon. a lemon wedge. A lemon wedge. Very nice. And but it is, is great. yummy. Cheers. Cheers. Happy, New Year. Happy New Year's. Cheers. Go again? Let's try this. Mm. It smells great too, by the way. John, what is it do you think about now nice. that non-alcoholic libations are becoming more popular? Is it that people are more conscious of their health and wellness or Honestly, I think people just got really tired of the stigma that non-alcoholic drinks were tired, they were boring, yeah. they were not flavorful. Well, it used to be you could only do doers. No offense to doers, <laughs> but we've come a long way. We've come a long way, and we've got a lot of different products that speak to that. So we did the Gia. We also have Proto, uh, which oh. is a really great aperitif. Um, this one, we made a Proto Highball, which is honestly super simple. Ounce and a half of this, four ounces of club soda. That's uh, it? You're good to go. Straight up. It's absolutely delicious. So it's got also the kind of thing where, you know, sometimes people go to these parties, and you have to be the designated driver. Right. Mm -hmm. And you want to still feel like you're part of the festivities exactly. and not just have a club soda in your hand. Right. So this looks like, hey, I'm having a really nice classy And drink. also the vessel, I think, makes one. it look special too. It is. So we went, uh, normally it comes in a highball glass, mm -hmm. which is the tall one. Mm -hmm. This one, I thought, special occasion, right after New Year's, we'll go with a champagne flute. Oh. Um, but really delicious. Wow. And the one I'm really Reflectful. excited to talk about is Seed Lip. So this is my favorite right now. You and me. Oh, uh, Seed Lip. This one is funny absolutely name, delicious. Okay. <laughs> it, well, so the funny thing is, is that this is actually st distilled very similarly to gin. So it goes great as a gin alternative. Okay. And they actually distill it with a neutral spirit, add a bunch of botanicals, and then remove the alcohol. So you get wow. a really, really strong flavor profile. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. Yeah. Well, and this comes a in a couple of different flavor profiles, correct? It does, yes. Yeah. yeah. I told you, I do this with some gin. I was going to say, what do you mix this with? You could do it with gin to make it alcoholic, but what do you do to make the it non-alcoholic? The idea is right? non-alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, the, the idea is to make it non-alcoholic, but if that. you want to add gin, I support that. Okay. So this one, just some tonic water. Honestly, that and tonic that's water, and you're good and to go. And that's it? Really? Yep. A little Absolutely garnish. Nice and yes. refreshing. Okay, yeah, fine. Sure. What about uh, non-alcoholic beers? They're also getting better and better yeah. and more involved, so to speak, right? Over they the are. So we have a couple over here, Athletic. This one, um, really close to the brand so we actually uh voted them as one of our 2022 inaugural drinks innovators of the year mm -hmm. um keep an eye out for the 2023 list which is coming in april okay. and that's because we focus on people who are doing really great things in the drink space so these people did a phenomenal job they have a range of non-alcoholic beers absolutely delicious wow is there really any loss of the flavor i mean just because there's no alcohol in beer i would think you know we could hold up exactly i think that these taste 
really delicious. I'm going to I'm going to see the what these they have. what these fellows are doing. Do Dive in. Do a little Let's snort see. of one of these. Mm -hmm. All right. What is this one? That's Brooklyn Brewery. Oh my gosh. It says special it's effects. Delicious. This is non-alcoholic? It is not alcoholic. Holy moly. No, you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to tell. Yeah. Ron, well, I'm going to run beer wild. In particular, mm -hmm. I think you could probably, you know. Yeah, and that's, that's the delightful. nice thing is that you still get to maintain all the flavors mm -hmm. without having the alcohol there. Mm -hmm. You yeah. don't lose any of that quality. Yeah. So is the wine industry doing anything along these lines as well? They are, so I'm glad you Funny asked. Funny you should ask. Funny you Happy should ask. to be a bottle of wine. We're teed up right here. There you go. Uh, we've got Studio Null, and this is an alcohol-removed Grenache, which is really, really delicious. Um, still a very hearty red, but alcohol has been removed. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Let me ask you this. In terms of a bottle being non-alcohol, it had to go through another process. Are the bottles more expensive, less expensive? How does that, is the price ranges. point the same? Yeah, it ranges. So you can spend, you know, $20 on a nice bottle. Mm -hmm. You can also spend much more than that. The process is is actually a very uh, complicated process right. by re uh, reverse osmosis. Wow! But they they take out all of the alcohol and it's still super flavorful. You hear that? Reverse yeah. osmosis. Uh, this don't man try studied that at chemistry. Home. I, I don't can't. I'm, I, I don't even osmosis. know what to do with Sean Flynn right now. You hurt yourself doing that. I might. Well, this. This is fantastic. Well, cheers again. Cheers again. One mm, more time. Oh, cheers. Yes, cheers. 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 It has a nice nose, mm -hmm. as they say. This is a Grenache. Delightful. It is. This is a Grenache. This is fantastic. Boy, Good have way. spirits and non-spirits come, come a long a way. Long they really have. Way. Wow. And and by the way, also nice to wake up without a hangover. I know. Also <laughs> nice to just you know. Most importantly, yeah, you know. especially after New Year's Eve. Right. right. You know, no more lampshades on the head. You know, you, <laughs> exactly. can, manage, you can just kind of. And fewer you. calories. That that was actually another question I had. So is yeah. there? What is the sugar content? Is it? Is there? Are we removing a lot of sugar in? It should be depends? comparable. Yeah, yep. comparable. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is fantastic. So if Sean? you. If you're at your own bar at home, which one are you going for first? Seed lip. I always yeah. go with the seed lip. It's yeah. got a lot of really strong flavors, and you don't even know that you're drinking an alcoholic. Yeah. See, that's, the only one that? I, that's the only one I didn't have. This, this was my favorite. This yeah. Was the, that was Gia. delicious. That was he delicious. is very good. Very good. Fantastic. Awesome stuff. Sean, thanks so much. Well, thanks always so much good to for see you. Back. Next month, Happy New the year. alcohol comes back. Yes. Good for me. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> for and then in us. April, you're 2023. Top, yeah. top. Strength innovator of the year. Wow. Yep. Congrats on that. Awesome. Right. Thank you. That. You can find Thanks more non alcoholic drink ideas online at foodandwine.com or pick up the latest issue of Food and Wine on newsstands now. It's a beautiful cover. Sheesh. Yeah.